Hey YouTube, it's me, Misha, and I am back with a video. And yes, this video is going to be my April favorites. And I am sorry for the pause in between videos, but I have been so busy with work and doing this, doing that, and playing, and playing, and a whole lot of playing. But I'm back. So let me get into the video and tell you about a couple of my few favorites that I have been loving this month of April. At first, I'm going to talk about this foundation stick. It's by Kiss. And you can get this at Walgreens and at your local beauty supply. I got mine from Walgreens. And this stick is amazing. And um, as I like to get ready for work at the last minute, I find that putting this stick on along with my Real Tech Techniques buffing brush is like a godsend. This is quick, easy, and convenient. And it's kind of thick and it gives you that good full coverage. That's if you're looking for a full coverage foundation. This is it. This covers any and everything perfectly. And the color of mine is dark chocolate. Though I normally wouldn't have picked the color called dark chocolate, but it doesn't look as dark as the name sounds. I am um, a C7 and Max Studio Fix, and I use Cafe Caramel in Ruby Kisses Full Coverage Foundation. That's just to give you an idea of what color this is, but this is a great foundation stick and it's like eight bucks for this you can't lose with this this is an absolute great buy you should check check this out Walgreens and another one of my favorites is the Naked 2 palette I got this earlier in the month and I have been using this almost every day since I got it so that's usually how I am when I get new things I use it on the daily until I wear myself out with it then I just throw it to the side you know how that goes I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one like that but to me the colors are almost the same as the naked palette I feel like if you have either or you're good you don't really need both of them I have both and I don't need both if I had to choose between um, naked and naked too I would probably go with naked too because it has two matte shades I believe the other one only had one so you're getting two matte shades with this one and I love the blackout eyeshadow in here I love black as I am a big fan of black eyeshadows and I go through a whole lot of black eyeshadows so the naked 2 palette would be the one I would go with over the naked palette though I have them both and I love them both but right now this is my fave and I'm actually wearing it on my eyelids now I'm wearing um, Chopper and Blackout. And which one is this on my? And Booty Call is my highlight. So today's look is brought to you by Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette. <laughs> Does that sound like a radio announcer or what? Oh, then there's True, my true religion perfume this smells amazing when I smelled it I knew that I had to have this I love the packaging is gorge absolutely gorgeous and the smell oh my god it's kind of well it's definitely clean it's very 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 clean almost citrusy <laughs> I don't know. I just want to just spray it on like all day. Oh. It just makes you feel pretty spraying this. Oh, love it. This is an absolute love. And this is by True Religion again. You have to check this out. If you don't have this, you can get this from Amazon. And uh, I have the body lotion as well. And the, the, um, what you call that stuff that you use in the shower? Oh, shower gel. 
It came with shower gel, which is already in my duffel bag. I already just threw it in there. So when I go out of town, I already have it. I like to keep that type of stuff in there as I don't really use these all the time in the shower. But I use them when traveling. But the body lotion, I do love as I am a bartender. So it always helps to have lotion because my hands are always in and out of water and stuff. Yeah, and I don't want to keep... My hands all dry and develop calluses from opening beer bottles and stuff all the time. You know how that goes. But yeah, the body lotion has a shimmer to it. It's really neat, really pretty in the summertime if you're into the whole shimmer thing. But as I said, I only really use it on my hands. But this stuff smells really freaking awesome. You have to check this out or get you a set. Go to Amazon and get this. Very, very nice. And last but not least, are you ready for this? I hope you're sitting down because this has to be my most favorite thing of all times right now. My Palermo GM Louis Vuitton bag. Oh. Now, I've had this for, I'm going to say maybe two months, maybe two and a half months now. So I've had it long enough to give you a really, really good review on this bag. And as you see, it is large, very, very large. It has the body strap as well as the shoulder straps. And I've had it long enough for it to start oxidizing or, um, you know, what do you, what's the other word you girls use? Patina. Yeah, it has the nice patina going on it right now. But yeah, I am in love with this bag. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton Palermo GM. In my last collective video of my Louis Vuittons, I was saying at the end that I wanted the Palermo, but I think I made a mistake in saying that I wanted the PM. No. I have what I want, and it was the GM. This thing is gorgeous. It's huge. I love it. It fits everything perfectly in it. This bag is my life. I have to carry this bag on the daily as I carry a whole bunch of stuff with me every day for work. I, I just need it. I have to have a huge bag. There's like a makeup roll, a sunglass case, another makeup roll. Um, this, that, and this, and I have my iPhone, my iPad, iPod, all of that stuff goes into this bag with me on the daily, as long as, like, my document holder for documents, and lotion, and all that, knickknacks, and patty wax, and give your dog a bone, I have all of that in this bag. This bag is the bag if you love large bags. And you carry a bunch of junk around. And this could be that bougie mom bag. If you have a little kid and you have to carry around sippy cups, baby wipes, and all those type of knickknacks, you would love this bag for that. It is bougie, gorgeous, and functional. Well, there you have it, people. You have now heard my April faves. Let me know what you're thinking if you want an detailed review of my bag like a show and tell let me show you the insides and all that type crap leave me a comment below and i will get to it all right bye y'all